Well, on Wednesday, it became official. Matt Kerwick was named the Cornell men's lacrosse coach after a year with interim status. In typical Kerwick fashion, it's already time to get back to work. Well, the 1990 Hobart grad took time out of his schedule to address the media today on his hiring by the Big Red. Last year, Kerwick led Cornell to the NCAA tournament and a number two ranking in the country after a 9-0 start to the season. Of course, he took over for Ben DeLuca, who was fired after a team hazing incident in late 2013. For Coach K, there's no place he'd rather be. I'm very... Uh blessed and, and privileged to to do this and, and extremely excited so uh, it, it's been a, a great process all spring working with this team and and uh, I'm just very excited to, to be back with them again in the fall. Honest from football, Cornell football alum Jeff Matthews, who shined with the Falcons as a free agent quarterback of the NFL, will be facing some hard knocks. The hit HBO series will focus on Atlanta this summer. A few years back, the Jets and Cortland were highlighted by the show. Also, Syracuse linebacker Marquis Sproul and running back Jerome Smith should get airtime as well. Hard Knocks season debut is August 5th at 10 on HBO. 75 years ago, the National Baseball Hall of Fame enshrined its first ever class. When you've been successful for that long, you must celebrate. It was a history on Main Street Day at the Hall, which saw two legends celebrate with them. The Iron Man, Cal Ripken Jr. and knuckleballer legend Phil Necro were in Cooperstown today. Ripken played in the most consecutive games in MLB history at 2,632. Yeah, that is a lot. While Necro played 23 years in the bigs, earning a ton of accolades as well. For the guys, Cooperstown is magical. In baseball, we like to compare the uh, the other eras and kind of go back. And, and I can't tell you why that's a magical um, comparison, but it is. And uh, the, the game schedule, the history, the champions and all that, and the players um, is celebrated here like no, no place else. And walking in here and still seeing my plaque up on the wall, that's exciting. I get glad goosebumps when I come here. And in, in the town of, of Cooperstown, it, it's just a magical little place for me. All right, tonight's Amara Piles game versus Mohawk Valley has been postponed at the Dunn due to the rain. It'll be made up as a doubleheader on July 8th versus the Diamond Dogs. Sports Info, did you know that Cal Ripken Sr. managed the Elmira Piles during the old Orioles affiliate days in 1968? Elmira 77 and 63 that year.